New tonight, the Gresham Baker is now forced to pay up after refusing a same-sex couple a cake. And now they're speaking out. The state of Oregon has officially ruled against them. Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez is live in Gresham, where the bakery used to be with why the owners feel they're being unfairly punished. Simon? Hey, Amy, the storefront behind me used to say Sweet Cakes by Melissa. It now is a completely different business run by different owners. The former owners now doing just a fraction of the same business out of their home and hoping they won't lose that as well. Melissa and Aaron Klein found out today they have to pay $135,000 for refusing to bake a cake for a same-sex wedding after a final ruling by the state's Bureau of Labor and Industries. For this to go this far? This is ridiculous. It should scare every American. Back in 2013, the Kleins were operating Sweet Cakes by Melissa, a small bakery in Gresham. A woman walked in and put in an order for a wedding cake. I asked for the name of the bride and groom. She informed me that it was two brides, and I literally apologized to her and said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time. The Kleins are Christian, and he felt providing a cake for that wedding went against their religious beliefs. She was asking me to not only bake the cake, Melissa, to decorate the cake, to design the cake, but then show up at the wedding. It, it, there's so much more to it than most people understand. After the complaint was filed, the clients saw protesters outside their bakery, but also customers lining up to support them. Eventually, they had to close the business after vendors cut ties with them. The two women who filed the complaint have suffered, too, in a statement today saying, quote, it's been a horrible ordeal for our entire family. We endured daily hateful attacks on social media, received death threats, and feared for our family's safety. For their part, the clients say they've been attacked, too. We've had, a, it seems like, almost a weekly occurrence where we have somebody send us hate mail. At the same time, they feel the state is punishing them for exercising their constitutional rights and using them to set an example. They say they'll be appealing the ruling to a higher court and hoping for the best. It's cost us our freedom, our freedom of religion, our freedom of speech. Well, the clients did get a lot of support from around the country, people around the country, including a GoFundMe account that raised more than $100,000 after taxes and fees were taken out, though the clients only got about half of that, nowhere near what the state wants them to pay. Uh, we did ask to interview to speak to the two women who filed the initial complaint this evening, but they preferred to communicate through their attorney. Reporting live in Gresham, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.